Hello friends, welcome back to Irini's Corner. Today we're gonna crochet together this amigurumi tooth. This is a fast project that you can do in less than two hours. And as you have seen, there is a pocket at the back so that the tooth fairy can leave the money for your kid in it. For this project, I'm gonna use worsted yarn together with a 3.5 millimeter hook. I will also need polyfill, a tapestry needle, and stitch markers. Let's get started with the project. I'm gonna start with a magic ring and into the ring I'm gonna crochet six single crochet stitches. After finishing the first round, I'm gonna close the magic ring and start working the second round. For the second round, we're gonna do an increase in each stitch. So we're gonna do two single crochet into each stitch and at the end of that round, we're gonna have 12 stitches. I'm also working around the tail of the magic ring to ensure it's tucked in and it doesn't get unraveled. Now we're ready to start round number three i'm moving my stitch marker one round up and for round three and four we're doing a single crochet into each stitch so no increase and at the end of round four we should have 12 stitches five I'm moving my stitch marker one round up and then into the first stitch I'm doing an increase and then I'll do one single crochet stitch into the next five stitches And then I'm gonna work as an increase, so two single crochet, followed by five single crochet stitches, one into each stitch. At the end of the round, we should have 14 stitches. For the next three rounds, so round six, seven, and eight, we're gonna do a single crochet into each stitch. And at the end of each round, we should have 14 stitches.
After finishing round 8, cut off the yarn. This is the first leg for the tooth. Now I'm going to repeat rounds 1 to 8 for the second leg. And at the end of round 8, I'm not going to cut off my yarn as we are going to be joining the two legs together. Here is the second leg of our tooth. Now we're ready to join the two legs together. So this is where we finished the first leg. This is the last stitch that we work. Now I'm going to join into the next stitch. But before joining, I'm going to chain two chains. And then I'm going to start working a single crochet into leg number one. And then 13 more single crochet stitches around leg one. Then I'm going to be working into the chain 2. So I'm going to do a single crochet into each of these two chains. And then I'm going to continue working a single crochet into each stitch of leg number two. Now we're back to the two chains. I'm gonna work a single crochet into each from the other side of the chain. And by this we have finished round number nine. Now the starting point for the round has changed so we're gonna put a stitch marker into the next stitch when we start working round number 10. So this will be the beginning of the round. Now I forgot to mention that at the end of round 9 you will have 32 stitches. Now I'm gonna place my stitch marker in the new uh, spot where we're gonna start round number 10 and start working six single crochet stitches. Then I'm going to be working an increase in stitch number 7. And then I'm going to be working 15 single crochet stitches.
Now I'm going to work an increase. And then in the last nine stitches, I'm going to work a single crochet into each. At the end of round 10, we should have 34 stitches. Now we're going to start round number 11 and starting round 11 up to round 22, we're doing a single crochet into each stitch with no increases. And as we go up in the rounds, we start adding polyfill to fill up the legs. Now for round number 23, we're gonna start by slip stitching into the first three, three stitches. And then single crochet into the next 14 stitches. Next, we're going to do three slip stitches. And then we're going to repeat the 14 single crochet stitches. And into the first single crochet, I'm gonna put a stitch marker. Now we're gonna start working the crown area of the tooth. So from the last stitch of the round, where we are right now, I'm gonna join to the stitch where we have the stitch marker. So I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and start working into that stitch. And I will do a single crochet. And then 13 more single crochet into that uh, circle that we have made. Don't forget to mark the first stitch by placing the stitch marker back into it. And then work the 13 single crochet remaining. Thank you. 
After finishing round 24, I'm gonna cut off the yarn, leaving a long tail to use it to sew the ends together. So with uh, the tapestry needle, I'm gonna close uh, that side of the tooth by just going back and forth into the stitches and then after going one side so after closing it to the left I'm gonna go back uh, to uh, make another repeat of stitching just to make sure that it is tightly closed and then I'm gonna weave in my end by hiding that tail into my work as you can see my tooth is not fully filled uh, that's okay because we still have to work on the other side and we still have a chance to add more filling as we work the other side before closing the top side of the tooth. Now we're ready to work on the other side so we're gonna skip the three slip stitches on both sides of our work and join the first and last single crochet stitch so I have a slip knot ready I'm gonna pull it through the two stitches and then chain one to secure it and right away into the first stitch I'm gonna start working my single crochet so I'm gonna insert my hook back into that same stitch and start a single crochet and then continue for 13 more stitches. Now the same way we closed the first side, we're going to be closing the second side and before closing the slip stitch area, I'm going to add more filling for uh, my project. So this is the last chance for us to add more filling before we close 
uh, the top of our tooth. Now that we have finished the body of the tooth, we only have the pocket to crochet and uh, add the details for the face. So for the pocket, I'm going to start by a slip knot and crocheting 11 stitches. Now I'm going to skip the first stitch from the hook and start working my way back with a single crochet into each of the 10 stitches. At the end of row one, I'm gonna chain one and turn my work and start working a single crochet into each of the 10 stitches. And I'm gonna repeat that for a total of eight rows. Now, after finishing the eight rows, we're gonna work a single crochet around the edges of that piece to give it a nice finish. So I'm gonna work around uh, the three sides, the two short sides and the bottom side. And then at the end, I'm gonna uh, cut off the yarn, leaving a very long tail to sew that piece to the body of the tooth.
now after finishing uh, the pocket side we're gonna work on the other side to make the face details and using the pin needles i'm gonna set the position of uh, the eyes and the mouth i'm gonna embroidery uh, all the face details but if you want to use safety eyes you can definitely uh, use these instead of embroidering the eyes And this is the final look for our project today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, take care.